Well, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the shop. So last week, the wife went uh, back to where we had moved from to go hang out with some friends. She was able to visit some of my old wood piles of oddities and she returned with this very crotchety piece of silver maple. I think this is going to be our project for this week. I think this bottom portion is what we're going to be targeting. We're going to get a little, maybe a little bit of figuring from this here crotch and definitely some figuring from this here crotch. Um, so I'm thinking we're going to target this here area. Let's see how it works out. And then we'll have a piece left over for another project. Let's get to work. Mm -hmm. here at the build table getting ready to pour some resin uh, the people over at total boat were kind enough to send us over some samples so we're gonna be giving their stuff a try see how we like it uh, I'm just gonna go ahead get this uh, here piece into our containment and just looking at what we got here I'm pretty sure we're gonna be using up most if not all of the resin that we got here and if we have a little bit too much, I'd rather that than not enough. Um, the colors that I picked is uh, we're going to go with a white pearl and a dark uh, charcoal pearl. and see if we can get some kind of marbly kind of look. Mm, let's see how it goes. Um, yeah, let's do it.
perfect. But uh, yeah, let's get it out of here. Get a better look. See what we got going on. Some pretty neat flows. Uh, what I meant by not quite perfect is something happened here. We didn't fill up all the way, but this is fine because this is where our. Uh, radius of the wood is so we're gonna lose you know that quarter inch I'm glad I used this piece of steel because I got a nice handle to pull on the, the mold with so all right let me get this uh, all prepped up get it up on the lathe and uh, we'll start turning it out right yeah, right guys so we got her up on the lathe here I'm um, just using the worm screw uh, for right now we're gonna get top and bottom faced off. I'm gonna work away some of this here resin uh, till we get back down to the wood and then we'll get this back off and get it up on a face plate. And uh, we'll go from there. Let's do it. Contact. <laughs> Thanks, baby. Oh, thank you. You good daddy some on his legs. Just in case he didn't have enough. <laughs> yeah, I think I, I think I got it pretty well covered. All right, so we got this stuff on the faceplate now. Just gonna get into uh, some outside shaping. We will eventually get a little foot on this guy and a mortise. So uh, yeah, let's do that. Right.
tear out the bottom here. And... All right, so the problem I'm dealing with now is the negative rate carbide is tearing out the wood, but the gouge chips out the resin. Alright, so we got this off the lathe now. Um, I'm gonna try and stabilize some of this uh, with a lacquer based sanding sealer. And we'll try and take a couple extra sharp passes on the back side here, see if we can't clean up this tear out. If not, it's gonna be a whole lot of sanding. But uh, either way, I need to uh, stiffen up these fibers so they don't wanna just keep pushing over. All right, gouge is all freshened up, nice fresh profile. Just gonna see if we can uh, make a nice light pass and get this tear out taken care of. If not, we're gonna go ahead, get her all sanded up so we can flip her around and start hollowing. call that good There's still some light tear out as you can see here it's not nearly as bad as it was it was a lot more like what you're seeing in here so um, I'm gonna get on sanding this and see if we can't get that all nice and cleaned up go from there Getting a nice tight shot up in there. You can see we got pretty much all that tear out taken care of. Um, I know I got a lot of more sanding uh, to go before finish, but uh, to be perfectly honest, I'm pretty much just sick of sanding and uh, I wanna get into some hollowing. So we're gonna get this guy flipped around and we're gonna start hogging out some hollowing. Contact. <laughs>
Taking a look at this guy. We are hollowed most of the way, but whoa, look at all that tear out. Pretty funky in there, so we're gonna do the same routine. We get that filled up with some uh, some lacquer based sanding sealer, and then we'll uh, sand it out flat, hopefully. But I'm um, liking the look of it. A lot of lovely character in there, for sure. Today is the next. It's time to sand out the bottom of this bowl, see if we can't get to the bottom of this tear out. I'm gonna get started here with some 40 grit. And then, then we'll work it out from there. See if we can get this guy finished today. I've got a little bit of a hump down here. I gotta work out. I just I don't think it's worth it to get a tool back in there and then work out more tear out. So, all right, here we go. Got most of the tear out sanded out now. Um, we do have a couple of little flaws in the top of the rim here from uh, casting resin not coming up all the way to the top. So I'm just gonna go ahead and trim down the top edge of this bowl just in case we have any other chips or damage or you know, whatever. I don't wanna get sanded all the way out to 600 and then have to go back and touch up the top rim. <laughs> Okay, so hopefully you can get a good view here. Um, we're all sanded out to uh, 600 now. Did my best to eliminate any radial sanding marks, anything like that. I think it's looking pretty good. So now I'm gonna move on forward here. 
And this is gonna be <laughs> our lineup of uh, abrasive paste. Not because I'm trying to be cheeky or anything, but uh, because I think this works well. So, starting to get a real nice polish there. I don't know if you can see some fine scratches. If you follow that light across into the darker areas, you can see it better. That kind of stuff bugs me. So we're gonna keep working to get out those fine little scratches. bring it back in and get some real-time results. And I would say we're a good solid step further along. Still a couple little scratches. Nothing major though. Try to make sure we're all nice and clean. But it's coming along. All right, moving on, moving on. All right, we're gonna get started buffing this in by hand, and then we will move on to the foam pad. guys I'm gonna call that good for our finish on the resin you can see the sticker board and the reflection there pretty neat <laughs> all right let's see if we can get a little more shine in this here wood looking pretty good but I'm just gonna make our pop just a little bit more we're gonna throw on some of Brad's uh, tongue wax finish this is an actual finish. There is no abrasive in here. I'm gonna get a nice coat on here and let her soak up for a little bit. And we'll buff this in. All right, all right. This guy's been sitting, I don't know, 20 minutes or so. Um, it's soaked up the first coat in about five minutes, so I had to reapply. 
and it's just been hanging out so uh, we're just gonna pump up the jam here on the lathe get the speed up get this melted in Get this thing wiped down, cleaned up. Take a look. It's done. Let's go check it out. All right, guys. Well, here she is. Uh, really like the way this thing turned out. I, you couldn't ask for more uh, character inside a piece of wood. This uh, spalting is just insane. I. I, I'm happy also to let you guys know I do have uh, a bunch of this wood yet so we're gonna be seeing more of this stuff I just I couldn't even begin to imagine this is what we would find uh, inside this piece I'm really liking the uh, resin flows this is my first time using the total boat and it is a little bit of a learning curve because the viscosity of this stuff is quite lower than what I'm used to um, like for instance, on uh, this resin pour, I do wish there was a little more black to be found in there. So I think moving forward, when we do these pours, I'm gonna break it down into some smaller containers so that they're a little more manageable. But yeah, no, that's what you do, uh, learning on the fly. I will leave you guys some slow rollers uh, at the end so you can check this guy out in a little more detail. Um, Overall, this is a really fun project. I really hope you guys like it. Uh, let me know in the comments uh, what you think about it. But uh, yeah, that spalting character is nuts. Um, I'm used to seeing like finer, uh, more precise uh, lines and stuff from the spalting. It's just more like a, a very feathery watercolor kind of feel. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm liking the piece and I hope you guys uh, do too. Um, in other news, we got a couple new stickers up here on the board. We got John Higgs over at Jigsy Shed all the way from the UK. And we got Justin Payne at Payne's Always Making. I will leave some links in the description for their stuff. Uh, go ahead and check them out. Uh, what else do we got, guys? Um, as always, uh, if you guys want to support the channel, please smash that like button. It helps get our video into the algorithm and out there uh, to meet some new, uh, bring some new friends into our little group here. Um, you know, we're always striving to grow. Uh, I was hoping to hit our 10K mark on a one year anniversary, but uh, it's looking like it's going to be a tough one. Going to need your help on that one. Um, I think what we only got like a week or two uh, to hit that mark for our one year um, but no worries we'll keep on growing um, get this stuff out there uh, shared uh, to your friends social media that always helps and if you want to throw a uh, fiver into the shop fund head on over to our patreon um, we do lots of uh, behind the scenes kind of stuff and some more personal uh, postings things like that other than that, I love you guys. I'll see you next week.
me, Todd Duca. Welcome back to the shop. This is in my wife talking while I move my lips. This is me talking about how I'm going to make cool wood stuff in the shop. So let's get to it. I think I think it's perfect.